Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm just gonna do a pretty quick video how to get rust of uh, chrome or details whether it's a car or a bike or a um, motorcycle, whatever. If it's uh, chromed like a bumper or a fender or um, handlebars, you name it. If it's chrome, then it's probably gonna rust sometime or it uh, will get pitted. So I'm gonna show you a quick way to get rid of the rust and some tips of how you can uh, pre prevent the rust uh, coming back you know, like the next day or so, yeah. So we're gonna check that out and also I'm sorry because I forgot the uh, the good mic that I have to the camera and I'm too lazy to go and get it. It's very far. So uh, yeah, you have to get used to this sound for, for this video at least. I can show you how far it is. Oh shit, that was... Uh, let's see, brightness... No. Sorry, but you have to just take my word for it. Anyway, let's uh, let's get to it. So, here we have handlebars on, uh, on the kids' uh, mini bike. Here we have aluminum foil. Just squeeze it into a little ball. and start rubbing. You can also use a little bit of uh, lubricant. Uh, plain water will, will do fine. I'm just gonna tell you something and it's, you know, I grew up in the in the 70s and 80s and the chrome in the old days were much thicker and better than they are today you know everything is made in China today I, I believe this mini bike is 100% made in China I mean all all of it and you can say a lot about Chinese things, you know, about the quality and stuff. But you know, you get what you pay for and if you if you want cheap stuff and you want you want so cheap stuff that that it's it's cheaper to buy new than repair the old thing you have, then yeah, you get what you pay for. This is how it looked before. Like that. And now it looks like this. Yeah, so it's it's a big difference. 
and you you don't need to uh, buy pastes or anything you can just use ordinary aluminum foil you can also use what is um, you can also use steel wool but if you do you must uh, take the, the the finest the least coarse um, so you don't scratch the uh, the chrome plating because what happens is uh, this is steel that is coated with chromium and if the plating has a hole in it or something that air can penetrate through to the steel then the steel will oxidize and it will rust so uh, if the chrome isn't plated good enough then oxygen can react with the steel and uh, rust so when you have polished take some uh, nice wax or something so you can put it on and seal it so air doesn't get in and start to rust again it's not a permanent fix it's gonna rust but at least you can keep it clean and and uh, it will stay like this a little bit longer Hello. yeah turn out pretty good well I am uh, going to uh, finish this up I just thought I uh, I would share it with you and some of you might say oh man I have known this for years well good for you not everybody knows it but it's useful and uh, you don't have to go out and buy uh, you know some expensive uh, things you can just Regul reg regular you can just use regular aluminum foil don't worry I'm gonna cut that out all right everyone that was uh, it for today I uh, hope you learned something uh, I guess it's no secret you know it's been around for years that you can use aluminum foil to to uh, get rid of uh, spots and uh, rust on uh, chrome or chrome plated uh, method worked very well actually as I said don't forget to uh, have some kind of uh, wax or uh, something that you can use to seal up the pores in, in the uh, chrome plating or else if you have it out in the rain it's gonna rust in a few days again just a just a little advice there all right if you like this kind of content please subscribe uh, put that thumbs up um, if you have a comment please leave it uh, I will try to answer as many as I can um, all right just a quick quick video like I always say I do and they or like 20 minutes long or something. Well, anyway, I gotta go get something to eat. Yeah, time for dinner. All right, see you on the next one. Bye. Or like Peter Lindgren does.